This is Gadget Stop 321, and today I'm going to walk through the Windows 8.1 Preview Edition. The first thing you may notice in the start screen is that the live tiles can be resized to four different sizes instead of two. Another thing you may notice is that they can be placed in groups and those groups can be labeled. In order to do this, you either double tap anywhere on the screen or swipe down from the top of the touchpad or the top of the screen and there's a little icon in the bottom right corner that says customize. If you click on it, it enables you to customize the labels that you place on your groups of live tiles or you can click on live tiles and uh, your customizing options are available on the bottom menu. Also, now, a new feature in Windows 8.1, if you want to get to all of your apps, instead of having to swipe on the screen and then go to the All Apps icon, now there's a down arrow. If you click on the down arrow, that brings up all of your apps and tools. And if there's any app or tool that you want to pin to your start screen, for example, I've got a YouTube viewer. Double tap. That brings up some options. You can either uninstall or pin to the start screen. I'm going to pin it to the start screen. And there it is. Another thing I like about the Windows 8.1 preview is in the store. So if you go to the store, you notice now there's a search window that wasn't there before. In Windows 8, you had to bring up the Charms menu and search using it. That wasn't entirely obvious. And so now having a search box on every page of the App Store, I think is really handy. Also, if you swipe down on the screen or your touchpad, you can now search through the apps by category. Let's go to the desktop. Let's look at that transition one more time. Now you're able to use the same background on the desktop and the start screen, which makes that tr transition a lot smoother, less jarring. Another new feature of the desktop is the start button in the bottom. Now that acts just like if you click it, it acts just like the start key on your computer, but if you right-click it, it brings up several uh, commonly used options and settings that it's nice to have quick access to. Now you can also shut down your computer from the desktop that you couldn't do before in Windows 8. Another thing I wanted to mention is that if you find the hot corners, um, if you have problems with them getting in your way, um, the one on the right, the charms bar, always pops up on me. Uh, sometimes it pops up and sometimes it doesn't. And it's not wanting to right now. But if those, there it is, if those hot corners get in your way when you're trying to do stuff, those can be disabled. That's another handy feature. The individual improvements in Windows 8.1 might seem minor, but altogether, they greatly improve the user experience. If you found this video helpful, make sure you like and subscribe.